Here's a quick review of the factoring method called grouping. Now we'll look at this polynomial y equals x cubed plus x squared minus 4x minus 4. And just a quick observation on this polynomial, you can see that we could easily break this into two groups and each of those groups would have a GCF. That's kind of how we know, try grouping, see if it works. And we'll talk more about what makes it work as we go. So I'll show our first group in green and our second in purple. So it's almost too many problems here. First mini problem, let's look at the green group, the x cubed plus x squared. Now we want to find a greatest common factor for that group or a GCF. And so we can see that x squared would be the greatest common factor. So pull that out, showing it in green, and then you'll note what you're left with in parentheses. So when we pulled out x squared from x cubed, we were left with an x. And when we pulled out x squared from positive x squared, we're left with one. Okay, so we'll pause on the green group and move to the purple group. Okay, in our purple group, we are dealing with minus four x minus four. So pretty clearly here, our greatest common factor or our GCF is a negative four. So pull out that negative four and we'll note what we're left with in parentheses. Basically you're undistributing here. So we're left with an X and then plus one. Multiply that out if you aren't sure, double check that you have factored correctly. Okay, now that we've factored each mini problem, we've taken out the GCF from each group, we're ready to see, did this grouping method work? And what you're looking for is, does what you have in the parentheses match for each group? And here in the parentheses, we have x plus 1. Okay, so we know our grouping was successful. This is what we're looking at. It has to match exactly. You may have to go back and make a small adjustment if your signs are off. Um, but in this case, we've got it right on. And so we've created basically an overall greatest common factor between the two groups. And now working with those two groups together, we can factor out that GCF, that x plus 1. So that's here. So of course, from the green group, that leaves an x squared. And from the purple group, we were left with the minus four. So you can see this grouping strategy is just a really clever way to break a polynomial down into two parts, sometimes more, but in this simple example, into two different groups, look at them separately, and then take a step back, look at that GCF that you created overall. Okay, and so of course to finish factoring this polynomial, we have the x plus one, that's as simple as it can go, that's one of our factors. And we see that x squared minus four can be factored using the difference of squares method. So we know that factors into x plus two, x minus two. And so now we have a fully factored polynomial and the whole point of being able to factor, why we're reviewing some of these factoring methods, is so that we can easily see our zeros or x-intercepts when we want to sketch a graph. So you can see the corresponding zeros would be negative 1, negative 2, and 2. And this will be really helpful as you create a graph for this polynomial. For more factoring review, check out the links in the video description, and there will also be links for um, sketching graphs of polynomials and other things that you can do with polynomials. Thanks for watching.